Well, welcome to week seven of Organic Disciples. Our focus is on consistent community. And here's our question for today. How can Christian communities show the love of Jesus and draw people to the heart of the Savior? In John chapter 13, Jesus is dealing with this topic. Listen to these words that Jesus spoke in John 13, verses 34 and 35. A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. God has designed us for relationships and intimacy. Even the most introverted by nature still long for authentic community. There's something in the depth of our soul that hungers to be in meaningful relationships with others. I've had the opportunity to study both educational development and spiritual formation. Those who study the development of children will tell you that there is a profound need for touch, care, and connection from the earliest of days. This hunger for community continues through every stage of life. All throughout scripture, from the opening account of creation, when God declares that it is not good for man to be alone, to the closing vision of God's people together in eternal heavenly community, it is crystal clear that God made us for fellowship with him and with each other. We need to hear the call to be in relationship with the family of God. We are called to love God's people as Jesus loves us. When this is happening in consistent ways, the world will notice. Lost people will be drawn to a community of believers who model the love and tender care of Jesus in their relationships with each other. Our world is becoming increasingly polarized. Divisions are growing. For some people, different opinions and perspectives lead to disconnection and the fragmentation of relationships. As followers of Jesus, we can model what it looks like to love people even when we don't align on every topic. I heard a pastor say several years ago, Christians can agree to disagree without being disagreeable. We can be examples of patience and care in our relationships with other believers. The church can become a vision of community that draws in a weary and discouraged world that is simply tired of all the conflict and division around us. We need to live with profound confidence that the world will see and know that we are Christians by the way we love one another. Let's pray. And God, that's our prayer. That's our prayer for ourselves. That's our prayer for Christians all over the world. That in this time of tension and conflict, in this time where people just can't seem to get along, may we show what it looks like to love each other, even when we're different, even when we don't see the world exactly the same. May we as Christians love one another so much that the world will see that we've been loved by you. And may they be drawn to the heart of Jesus, the source of true love and true peace. We pray this in his name. Amen.